Um, I have here on my test bench uh, a MultiPlus Compact. This is the 12-2000. And uh, we're going to do two things. We're going to uh, program it and we're going to connect it to the servo. So when you have it on the test bench like this, um, you just need to have it connected to a battery and it needs to be turned on. Um, you don't have to have the AC inputs or outputs connected. And um, for the purposes of this, the dip switches here are set in the factory default, so a dip switch uh, 2 is on and all the other ones are off. And here's our um, network cable that's going to our a USB to Mark III interface uh, and then to the laptop. Here we are on the main laptop screen showing the Victron Connect app and you can see we're inverting. When you cl click on the little cogwheel, you get into the settings page, enable that, and then click on the three little dots. That gets you into the firmware, and you can see there is an update available. Click on update. There's your firmware available. Click on the file. Uh, hit update. Read the small print. And the firmware update begins. When it's finished, uh, it resets. Uh, it will erase all your settings, so this would be a good time to go back and go through them all. The grid settings, inverter settings, charger settings, and AC input control. That's it.